Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Programming and Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop. Today we're going to continue on with our VBA, or Visual Basic for Application series, and we're going to be covering some of those key methods or key collections, words, etc., that are in Access that we will need to know because we're going to use them a lot. All right, so today's uh, method is called the sys command or syscmd and I've got a form here that we're just going to go ahead and use the onload event to manage what's going on here there's only a few of them I need to show you about the sys command but they will definitely come in pretty handy at, at times so we'll go ahead and run this we'll just go ahead and open it up we'll see the first thing I need to do is go ahead and dim a variant as meter which will be used later on down here when we're talking about the uh, the meter that we're going to use. So first I'm just going to show you with the debug print we have the option of running the enumeration of AC sys command access directory and as you might suspect this is going to go ahead and give us the full path to where the access, the MS access.exe file is being run from. And If I do a quick search here for where this MS access exe file is running from, you'll see that if I go to the actual file location, you'll see it's C program files Microsoft Office backslash Office 15. Okay, and that's where we get the full path to where the MS access.exe file is running from. All right, so I hope that makes sense to you. The next one is we want to know what the actual version of access is running. So not just the Remember, we were looking at in, in the previous videos of what the version of database was, but this is the version of MS Access that is running, and those are two completely different things. But you may want to know what version of Access somebody is running, and this is how you can find out. You could just do a sys command with the ac sys command access ver as your uh, enumeration and that will give you the value of the actual access application which the uh, user is running. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about the meter and the meter is really cool because it's kind of a little progress meter to tell your user some sort of information about how uh, how the progress of something you've got running might be going. So maybe you've got a really long bit of running code and you want to kind of show a progress. So remember how before we were actually uh, we were shutting down, um, we, were, we were showing that hourglass, remember that when we were looking at the hourglass, the do command hourglass and we would show true and that would turn the hourglass to the circle, the spinny circle. Well, let me go ahead and turn that back to false. But in combination with doing that, Let's say we want something to show down here on the status bar to show that, hey, there is something that's actually going on. And that's where we would use this sys command init meter. So we're going to initiate a meter, which will show up at the bottom of the screen. We need to pass the sys command a couple of arguments. One is the text that we want to show up next to the meter and a value, a numerical value for what the maximum number should be. So we're essentially going to be setting um, a high a, a high value, that the total value of once this is reached, um, that means that the progress bar is complete. So when we give it a, pa when we pass it a value of 50, uh, then that means it would be halfway done from this 100. So I'll, this will make a little bit more sense as we go through here. First, we're going to go ahead and create or initiate the meter. And so when we look at our screen here, you can see working with the four periods afterwards. And you see this little bar down here, which is a progress bar. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and run the update meter. And you'll see I'm passing it a value of 50 now, which is half of the 100 that we used when we initiated the meter. So if I go ahead and run that bit of code, you'll see now we still have the working text and now it's at 50% of the way done. So we can make this, you know, uh, we can come up with our own conversion that kind of passes a variable to this that says, hey, I'm at 25% or I'm at 30% or whatever the progress is at that particular point in time. 
And now we've got, uh, we're going to pass in another update of the meter, which is going to say we're at 100. And that will show now that the progress is complete. You can see the progress bar is shown as completely done. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the meter because it's done, and you'll see it ends up as blank. So we initiated it. We initiated it with the working text and gave it a top value. Then we updated it once. Then we updated it again, and then we went ahead and removed it because it was done. But now we want to display to the user. Well, not just that it's done. We want to show that it's actually done. But we don't need the up, we don't need the meter anymore. So we're going to go ahead and display down here. Done in the text box down here, in the status bar down here. I know that's a little different spot um, than what we had initially here with the init meter, but it does give the user some sort of feedback that it is complete. And we can put just about any type of text down here in, the, in, in that status there. Uh, so if we wanted to, we could say uh, sys command asys, ac sys command set status uh, I am happy. Yay, he's happy. All right, we can see I am happy. All right, so whatever we want the status to be down there, that's where you can use the sys command, ac sys command set status, and then you just pass in the variable of whatever the string is that you want it to say down there. Then the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, kind of handy to know you can distribute out your access databases with a runtime version of access. That way, people that you distribute your app access application to don't have to have the full, um, the full paid for version of access. You can instead bundle up your uh, runtime with your database. But sometimes certain things like um, your resources or your references here will not work because you're not running under that full environment. And so it's important to know whether or not the person is running with the runtime version, the runtime version of Access, or are they running the full the full version? And here we can see, I'm just going to go ahead and print back that it is false. I'm currently running the full version of Access, not just the runtime. But if you wanted to, sh to take a look and, and distribute that runtime, if you just do a quick search here for Access 2013 runtime, download, you'll see that we can go ahead and get the official version of the runtime. And we can install this on uh, on a computer, and it will run our access databases. But we just want to sometimes make sure that we aren't going to run into some compatibility issues with some of those resources that we have uh, in the background. So there you go. That's your sys command. You will use that occasionally to find out some pretty important information. There are other sys commands, but I didn't think that they were too important to go over at this time. You're more than welcome to, once again, go ahead and click on the sys command, press F1, and we actually get, uh, it'll actually take us through to the enumeration here, if you want, of all of the different uh, a sys command um, enumerations that you can use. All right.